Hey Run Junkies, welcome to Runners Without Limits TV. Recently we did a little bit of upgrading and updating down here in our basement in our home fitness room and you asked for a tour. So welcome to our home workout space also known as the Pain Cave. This space down here is basically an entertainment space. It was made to be a kind of family room type, watching movies, playing video games type space, kind of away from the kitchen and all of the other crazy that's upstairs. And it has served as multiple things throughout the years. It has served as Lego storage and a workout space and it kind of all of these things all at once. But recently we've turned this space into sort of a family workout space. All of us can use it. I certainly use it the most, but my husband can use it for lifting weights. My son can use it for multiple things. And even Miko the Wonder Mutt can use the treadmill. So we have quite a few of these pieces that we've collected basically over decades. The longer you stay in one place, the more you tend to accumulate. So I think that's what's happening here. So I'm gonna take you around the room and show you what we have to work with. It's not as clean as I would like, but hey, I'm keeping it real. The treadmill. I actually talked about this on the podcast not too long ago. This is a Nordic Track E3000 and it was free from my neighbor four years ago. The price was perfect. It has a lot of basic features, including one touch speed and one touch incline. It has a deck adjustment feature that allows the belt deck to have a little bit more give. Now it's not in the best shape, so let's just hope it lasts throughout the winter. My dog gets almost as much out of this as I do, so it was definitely worth the price we paid. The bike. This is actually my triathlon bike Gary. He's been set up on a trainer more often than not in the last couple of years, but he's still a really good bike. He's kind of in semi-retirement now, just like me. <laughs> the trainer is a Cyclops fluid trainer. Now this is designed to turn your road bike into a stationary bike. I really like this option because the bike is fitted perfectly to my biomechanics. It can be tough to fit those stationary machines that you see at you know, fitness centers to fit exactly to your measurements. I have a short torso and long legs, so this bike is fitted perfectly to me, and I really like the fact that I have this option. The floor matting is just like jigsaw puzzle floor mat that you can find at a big warehouse store, I think Costco or Sam's, and you can also get them on Amazon. It's a great flooring solution. It's soft under the feet, especially since we have tile down here. And I can take it apart, bring it upstairs, and hose it down every year when it's nice out and kind of clean it off that way. Otherwise, it does vacuum up very the well. The weight set goes as far back as college, if you can believe it. Like three or four lives ago, I did aerobics with weights, like on videotape. Like, do you remember the firm? These are from that time, but really, I never regretted keeping these weights all these years. They've moved with me like six times. So dumbbell sets include a pair of threes, fives, eights, tens, 12s and then a single 15 and a single 20. I also have four weighted balls. None of them are heavier than about six pounds. Now I also have a bar, which I can't find. Where is it? But it's only eight pounds and it's designed for more balance work than heavy lifting. None of this is really for bodybuilding, but rather to supplement my running and build tone and shape rather than mass. It wasn't until later that I got the weight rack for all of these sets. And now that my husband is using this space as well, uh, we may add on to these weight sets or we're gonna try to save up for an adjustable weight weighted set that is like you can get five pounds all the way up to like 90 pounds or something like that. That's down Now there. I have two different size step up boxes made popular by Step Aerobics, yep. And these are from my firm fitness days. These are still really good for some single leg work and they are adjustable. One side is six inches, the other side is eight inches, and both can be stacked for a 14 inch box. The square box is usually my go-to, but the wider one I will sometimes very rarely use for box jumps. I don't particularly like to jump all that much, so I don't use it very often. The most recent addition to our collection is our weight bench. My husband is the Craigslist master and he found this thing for really cheap. It's adjustable for a variety of configurations and exercises. And we also have resistance loops. These are my go-to. If I had nothing else, I would keep these 
resistance loops. The BOSU Balance Trainer has probably made the most difference in my running in the last few months. It's perfect for balance and strength work. I use it for about five minutes right after a run every once in a while. And it can also be used for a total body and hit style and strength type workouts. Lastly, the TRX Suspension Trainer. Up until now, I've been hanging my TRX from a door. And while that's serviceable, it's not ideal as we don't have a lot of good doors to hang it from. So we've bolted to the ceiling in here and we have the perfect space for a wide variety of exercises. Coming back around to the weight rack, I have a few miscellaneous extras here. I have a brazen mobility strap for stretching and yoga. I have a yoga mat that probably needs to be replaced. I have a stick for post-workout recovery and a foam roller that I really like to use after some time on the treadmill or the bike. Now what's not down here is my Oculus Quest that I use for my supernatural fitness workouts, which I'm gonna cover in a completely different episode. <laughs> so stick around, please like and subscribe because that's gonna be a lot of fun. Now, as far as entertainment goes, we do have access to a TV down here, which is great. And we have Apple TV, which means that we can use Disney Plus and YouTube and all of those great things. So I can connect my AirPods to the Apple TV and I can kind of be on the treadmill and watch on the big screen. But we also have access to other devices and especially the for the bike when it's hard to look all the way up at the TV. That's why I have the music stand right here because I can put my phone or the iPad or something like that on that music stand and I don't have to crane my neck to see what's on TV. Random things that really make it all come together. Now, as you can see behind me, I've been putting up some of my brag tags and I'm really excited. And I have plenty more to kind of decorate the room with, but this is just where we've started. I have a collection of virtual medals from 2020. Yes, these, these are just from 2020. My 2018 Dopey Challenge set, I have two boards that show off my run Disney weekend pin collections, which I've really had fun kind of putting together. So what is on my wish list? I mean, there's really not a lot. Yes, we would like to upgrade a couple things. We'll probably have to replace the treadmill at some point. We would like that adjustable weight set to kind of get rid of the rest of all of these little miscellaneous weights, kind of streamline a little bit. But really, this is a really comprehensive home fitness center. So if I had to break it all down and keep only three things, I would definitely keep the treadmill for as long as that thing lasts, the TRX suspension trainer, and my BOSU balance One ball. One thing I do want to mention though is that you don't need a whole lot of space. We have just now carved out this space for ourselves. But really, if you just have enough space to do some floor work, some body work, that's really all you need. And honestly, if you have one set of equipment, those resistance bands will give you a good workout every single time. And they take up no space whatsoever. So I wanna thank you guys for requesting this video. It was kind of fun to show you around a little bit. And I know you've seen glimpses of it uh, here and there throughout the last few weeks. So thank you very much. This was a lot of fun to bring well, you. What do you think of the pain cave? Are there any pieces down here that you would add to your wish list, Or is there something that you can't live without that you have in your own home fitness space. Please leave thoughts, questions, comments, and suggestions for future videos in the comment section down below. Hit that like and subscribe. Tell your friends. Guys, thank you so much for watching. Until I see you on the next one, remember you have no limits. Happy running. And don't freak out guys, because the Lego table is still here. We moved it from there to over here. So that's, this is where it is now. It was just hiding behind the camera the whole time. So. Yep, still here, still a mess. We have to organize it still. <laughs>